Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I just wanted to go over a fun new update in Tee Public. So if you do have a shop on Tee Public, then I'm sure you've already noticed they've been doing something of a redesign of their website, just making it look more clean, more professional, and I think I can definitely appreciate the nice changes that they've made. One additional update that they've come out with not too terribly long ago was the addition of a new color option for their t-shirts, which is one of their most popular items by far. So if we scroll down here, you can see that right now I just have a light blue option showing for this design, but the final square that they've added in the product colors is tie-dye so if you've enabled all of the colors for all of your designs then you shouldn't have to do anything this new tie-dye option should automatically be enabled and this is definitely uh, something wonderful that you should very much take advantage of especially for any designs relating to summer or even Christmas because Christmas in July is also a very hot niche at the moment you can even take advantage of this new color option by creating designs that you'd expect to see on something tie-dye, especially if it's related to any kind of kids camp or summer activity, because they just go so well together. But if you're... Re but if for any reason you're a little bit worried about whether or not this new color option was enabled for you, you can always go ahead and take a quick look, see if it is checked. I know that um, if you've disabled some of the color options, I think specifically the light color options on some of your designs, then it might not have automatically enabled the tie-dye color option. So it might be good to double check. Of course, if your design just wouldn't look good with these with this relatively light colored tie-dye, then by all means, leave it not enabled. But if you want to double check, see if your design shows up well with this as a background color, then by all means, enable it. You never know what some people may or may not like. Honestly, sometimes I'll uh, enable, you know, a specific color, or I'll think that this specific design doesn't look very good with this color or on this particular product, but then someone goes and proves me wrong and buys exactly that and I'm just left kind of surprised, but I guess in a good way. So long story short, there is no accounting for taste. So you may as well put out the options and see what people go for. And as always, definitely make sure to double check and see that all of your options here are in fact enabled because there's no reason to leave potential sales on the table. Anyways, that's it for today's quick video. Feel free to leave me a comment down below on your thoughts on this new tie-dye option. Have you seen any sales with it so far? I don't think I have seen any sales with this option in particular just yet, but hopefully in the future this will become more of a popular option. So then we'll have to go ahead and see what designs sell best on this new color option. Thank you so much for watching the video, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, happy designing!